bit about myself um, because the person you see here today, Ann Walsh Bradley, Justice on the Wisconsin Supreme Court, the values I have today are the same values I learned growing up in southwest Wisconsin and my hometown of Richland Center. Those are values of family, of fairness, of hard work, and service to others. Those are the values I took with me when I went to lacrosse as a high school teacher. Those are the values I took with me when I went to Wausau to practice law after I finished law school at the University of Wisconsin. I served as a Marathon County judge for 10 years. My husband Mark and I still live in Wausau. We raised our four children there. And those are the same values that we tried to impart to them. That is family, fairness, hard work, and service to others. I've had the honor of being on the Wisconsin Supreme Court for the last 20 years. I know that the people of this state want a justice who's fair and impartial and willing to make the tough decisions. For the last 20 years, I have a proven record, proven record of applying the law to uphold individual rights to make sure government is open and accessible and holding government accountable. I have worked day after day not only to make sure we have a fair and impartial court, but one that is nonpartisan and one that is not beholden to spe any special interest group. When people come to court, or their neighbors come to court, or their or their relatives come to court. They want to make sure that there's a level playing field. They want to make sure they get a fair shake no matter how rich or poor, no matter how powerful or powerless. But that level playing field is not something we can take for granted. You've got to be ever vigilant. And I'm running in this race, and when I decided to run, little did I realize what the stark difference would be between my opponent and myself. Say no to the political parties being infused into nonpartisan judiciary. You know, what we do in Wisconsin, what has been our tradition, is to have strong bipartisan support. I have the support of bipartisan leaders around the state of Wisconsin, and those include people like former First Lady, Republican, Sue Ann Thompson, uh, Ron Kine, Democrat from the western part of the state, Congressman, State Senator Dale Schultz, Republican, Richland Center, and Tim Cullen, State Senator from my opponent's home county, Rock County. The four of them got together and sent a letter to the editor of every newspaper in this state. And the letter started this way. In this time of partisan divide, we come together because we <coughs> urge the re-election of Justice Ann Walsh Bradley because we too, they said, believe in the importance of a non-partisan judiciary. Strong bipartisan support from over 130 sheriffs and chiefs of police and district attorneys from around the state. And over 170 judges from all levels of the court system are supporting my re-election. Those are the people that know my record best. Those are the people who know my commitment to the court system. Those are the people who know what I stand for. My opponent, you may know, is uh, the Republican Party is helping to fund his campaign. Now again, I need the votes of Republicans and Democrats and Independents, but you got to keep these political parties with their agendas out of our judicial races. Yeah. Right. Yeah. He's, he's campaigning from one Republican Party event to the next. Last week, I was in Milwaukee. We had a debate, and I looked at his schedule. He started that week as the featured guest speaker of the Republican Party annual uh, Lincoln Day dinner in Outagamie County, in Winnebago County, in meet and greets in Manitowoc County with the local GOPs. Two weeks ago, he started
started a television ad, mm -hmm. taking me to task for not being supportive of the political party agenda coming out of Madison. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. Well, that's not the role of any Supreme Court justice to be for or against any political party's agenda. I don't care what the party is, right? But he's taken me to task for not being supportive. Now, that misrepresents what justices do. We're not like the legislature. We're supposed to be different. And you better hope that we remain different. Otherwise, it undermines our very system of democracy in this state. So I'm going to ask for not only your vote and not only your support, but we need your help. As we march together, hopefully, we can see on April 7th.